Hey, it's Gil. I'm back, and I got some jazz records to go through for fun, so stick around. I'm Gil. This is my channel. If you like it, that's great. I'm Gil. This is my channel. If you don't like it, turn it off. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Gil, and uh, you might notice uh, things look a little bit different here. Uh, it's because that's uh, part of the reason why I wasn't around uh, for so long, is that I've been uh, moving stuff out of my old room that was behind that wall over there, and uh, kind of moved everything out more in the open, because I was just feeling so closed in to that small room. I don't really have a music room as per se anymore, it's just kind of... Uh, all over the place. I have my turntable upstairs and then I have a CD player down here and then I have uh, my music all over here and I have a TV over there. Maybe I can give a new tour sometime if anyone is interested but in today's show I kind of thought I'd try to get back into the swing of things and just show you some of the records that I got. Um, and today is uh, mainly uh, these records are all just ones that I got from a guy. I bought a bunch of them for 20 bucks. Uh, you know like they weren't uh, the, they're not in all in like pristine condition, but um, they're a lot of them are pretty good for what they are in my opinion at the price I paid. Kind of like a kind of like a value vinyl kind of a deal, and um, I'm kind of trying to get myself into more genres, more, listen to more different types of music, and uh, I got a bunch of jazz records, so uh, I thought I'd just go through them and show them and see what you think. And if uh, you guys have anything to say about any of them, uh, let me know. That'd be kind of cool. Like I said, I, uh, I I don't don't have much knowledge. I do have some just starting to learn and so forth. So, uh, but I'm I'm just trying to break into break into this as well. So I got, anyways, there was a guy uh, guy I knew uh, through old days. I noticed that he was selling a, a bunch of older records and uh, from j his jazz collection and uh, things that he didn't want anymore, or, or ones that he got better copies of, upgraded himself to, and. Uh, I I got got them so so we'll just go through them not in any kind of order or anything like that we'll just see what happens uh, first one here was Return Forever uh, featuring Chick Corea and the album Where Have I Known You Before that's pretty cool and uh, Stanley Clark is on this album and and uh, and Al Di Miola so uh, I thought that'd be should be a good way to start it, start up the goodness. Recorded in the uh, performance in Carmel, California. This is Errol Garner, a concert by the sea. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing that one. Listen to some of these a little bit and some not. Uh, this is a weather report album, but this is one I don't have. Mr. Gone. Of course, the infamous punk jazz is on there. And, Jacob Pistorius. I haven't spun this one yet. Haven't listened. It looks like it's some jazz flute. It's the uh, Best of Mo Kaufman Volume Two. Moods and Grooves by Dave Brubeck and Paul Desmond. That'd be pretty fun. Recording imported from Europe. Uh, complete recordings Volume Seven from 1935 of Fats Waller. Another Dave Brubeck album, Instant Brubeck. I guess at one time it was called uh, Brubeck Time. So this is like a re-released Harmony Edition. The original would probably be on Columbia, I'm assuming. Anita O'Day, I believe. I don't know much about this woman. Like I said, I'm getting an education. But uh, Shelly Mann and his friends. Modern jazz performances of songs from My Fair Lady. Leroy Vinegar is there on bass. That's not really focusing. I did spin this one a little bit. Pete Fountain at the Boto Lounge in New Orleans. Uh, I listened to this one a little bit. It's pretty cool. And Louis Armstrong, Mammy. This one is on Pickwick Records. I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm not really expecting much from this one. Every experience I've had with Pickwick Records are kind of like... Another Chick Corea album. 
Secret Agent. I did listen to this one a little bit. That Fickle Funk is a pretty cool tune on this album. Stan Getz, Children of the World. Wouldn't be jazz, getting into jazz stuff if you didn't get some uh, Duke Ellington, right? You got Duke Ellington's Greatest Hits with the infamous Satin Doll on there, so looking forward to spinning that. And uh, it's uh, George Thorogood and the S Destroyers. More George Thorogood and the Destroyers. So it's not jazz, but it still was in the same stuff that I got from that guy. I also got a couple other ones. Um, I was in Brandon, Manitoba, and I picked up some records from there. And uh, their prices were a little out to lunch in uh, at, at the Value Village. Now, I picked up these couple records uh, just for like two bucks each. But they had one record there. It was the Lost Boys. Okay. And the Lost Boys record, it was warped. There was like uh, water damage on it. You can see all this water damage. And the price, unbelievable. $49.99. What the hell? So I am hoping that that was just a joke. If someone actually was thinking they'd get that for that, I don't know. It was really kind of weird. But I did get James Last, Keanu Gogo, which uh, I, I do like a lot of James Last stuff. But to end it off, like uh, I did get also just a couple of classical records that weren't at the crazy uh, Lost Boys album price. Uh, because I haven't, I don't have much classical music either. But so I picked up this one, the Tchaikovsky Piano Concerto Number One in B flat minor for piano and orchestra, Opus Twenty Three, and it's uh, performed by Gary Grafman and the Cleveland Orchestra with George Zell as the conductor. And uh, also, my, I believe this is my first Deutsch gramophone album that I've ever had. This is Ludwig von Beethoven's uh, Symphony Number no. 8 in F Major, Opus 93. So, with the uh, Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra and Herbert von Karajan. So, kind of interested in checking that out. But, yeah. Anyway, so that's it. Quick and short. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get back into the realm of things and uh, zone things and stuff. So, uh, uh, those are that. I also got some CDs. I'll maybe post that in another video. But, uh, thanks for checking it out. And if you have any comments about any of those jazz albums, or if you have any other recommendations, uh, feel free to uh, let me know. And if you did like this, or if you have any other ideas what you I should do, let me know. Click on the subscribe button. And also click the little bell, right? As everybody says. That was my video. Thanks a lot for checking it out. I'll get you on the website.